a little more information has trickled out about the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Even people that are not trained in security have looked at a map of that place and wonder why nobody was stationed on that building. As a person that's put security details together, I wondered the same thing. And my guess was, somebody was, and they just weren't at their post. If you've ever been in charge of personnel, things change. You gotta roll with the punches. If Bob calls in that day, you gotta replace Bob. And you gotta make sure Bob knows where he's supposed to be if he does come in. Then once the detail starts, as a boss, you go around and check, make sure everybody's okay and they're at their spot. According to this article, the local sheriff's department was in charge of that spot. The way it was explained to me, and this was a long time ago, so they could have changed it by now. We had two agents assigned to our section of the state. Those two agents were responsible for coordinating everybody when the president came to town. Protection detail comes in, he tells everybody where they're supposed to be. And I remember thinking at the time, that's a lot of responsibility. Anybody that's worked a protection or guard detail will tell you they are boring until they're not. But if you do them over and over again, you get complacent. I guarantee you mess ups like this has happened before. It just wasn't an incident because nothing happened. The local department looks like a pretty small sheriff's office and it looks like a pretty low crime area. My point being, if you're not in dynamic situations a lot, your details aren't as tight. My two cents, be aware and be safe.